Alright then, everyone. So, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. So, equip, slash, equip, top thing, down three, scroll down to the bottom, one, two, three, down two, all the way down to the bottom, and relic, slash, equip, top thing, bottom thing, bottom thing again. Okay. So basically all I did there was I shoved on all the equipment to give her a little bit more generally just magic boosts because I don't really need the defense in there. Things aren't going to kill me in one battle and I'm literally not going to be conserving any extra supplies because I'll have tons of MP to make it through the collapsing house. So uh, there's no real need for defense. So um, equip, skills, item, save. Alright, so if I didn't mess anything up there by going too quickly, we should be ready to go. Okay, I uh, changed my mind about something. I was originally going to fight some random encounters, well, one random encounter at any rate, outside of the town just to set my cursors up properly like I did for the Magitech facility. But now I realize that's too much of a pain in the butt to bother with, so I'm just going to sacrifice the probably just a couple seconds to get everything set up. I only have one character, so telling what's going on is fairly easy. So when things get more complicated that this gets a little bit more difficult. Alright, so uh, before I leave I should probably skills, slash magic, all the way down to the bottom. No way I can mess up that, so... Alright, so we're on cure. We're ready to go now. I, I need to be on the cure spell before I enter, and I can do that without entering a battle, thankfully. I can do all my healing out of combat, which saves me some time. And... Celeste's cure spells are not gonna run out, which is nice because I don't really need to worry about any supplies at any rate. Probably gonna need to hold, buy a bunch of dried meats for the next parts, but... For now, I can coast. Yes or yes? What an enthralling choice there, BTB. Th thank you so much. Uh, I love all these uh, like comprehensive dialogue options. It's just nice when it feels like everything has such a huge impact on the game. Alright, so I made it up to the top, hopefully. There's lots of NPCs running around here. Looks like, oh no, how in the world am I going to get through that? But in practice, it's not too difficult. Because there's only one place I can end up. Uh, well, I guess the one thing maybe is if an NPC can get stuck, or a combination of NPCs can get stuck and block my path. Hopefully that can't happen. <laughs> Just gonna, yeah, throw that out there. I hope it can't happen. Okay, I made it to Sabin. Hold up. There's the noise. Right one, all the way up. Door number two. What's behind door number three? I don't know, because it's nowhere near here. Alright then, left, whole bunch, there's a fight. Okay, see what I mean? Not too bad to get my cursor set up, as long as I'm using Ice 2 properly there and not looking like an idiot here. Uh, it seems like I got a preemptive strike, which is uh, actually pretty nice. I'm not going to bother with uh, the tincture chest in the bedroom to the south-ish. Alright, because that's too much of a pain in the butt to get. The one up top left. One. Oh, crud. The one in the top left. That one's not too bad to get. In fact, it might almost be faster than not getting it. To tell you the honest truth. Right, Celeste's Ice 2 spells really do the trick here. I mean, what can I say? They're one-hit KOs on everything. Two, three. Down the staircase. Making okay progress. One, two, three, four. Left a bit. Left, down, left, down, left, down, left, down, left, down. This part's kind of dangerous-ish. 
I'm not 100% sure that my navigation through here will work out as nicely as I'm hoping. Took some hits there, that's gonna be okay. It just means I have to bother healing this time. Alright, down, right, alright, one, two, three, four. Now hopefully I was standing at the bottom side of the chest, all the way up and out. Right a bunch, right and up. This spot is, that one chest in, up there is really nicely placed, I must say. Magic, ice tube, multi-target, that thing, okay. Lots of punches going my way again, but pretty sure battles can't kill me here without an absolutely excessive amount of critical hits. And if that happens, I'll eat my hat. I mean, I'm not really wearing a hat, I guess I could eat my headphones, if that would make you so very much more happy. There we go. Thought I was a little farther off, but left a bit. Here's the pain in the butt, because I can't really tell when I've talked to the kid, and it's kind of important that I get this guy out here safely. Down, right, down, left, going down the staircase probably. Ice 2. Hopefully I'm making decent, as decent time as I think I'm making. Nothing completely off the wall, and I have two minutes to spare-ish. Alright, don't even need a heal after that one. Down. Right. One, two, three, four. Alright, this is the moment of truth because that's the hardest area to make it through after the other hardest area earlier. Yep, I made it. Okay, just gotta not mess that up. That battle's annoying. It might mess me up. Here's what I'll do. Two steps to the right, and then I'll start right and upping. I don't want to walk into that stupid little slot that goes all the way up and into the middle of nowhere, because then I'll have no idea where I am. But I do want to hit that door, because that's important, so that I do know where I am. Kinda gotta get it right there. I think I've... Oh, yeah, what was I gonna do? I totally... Okay, all the way up. Door number two, down one, all the way back out, to the right, should be standing behind the pot, left one, down, left one, down, left one, down, and we are out of there, like an analogy I can't think of right now, I suppose, but that's okay. Wow, that went smoothly. <laughs> Probably... Probably about minute 45 left, I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell because I didn't experiment with this one as much as before. And that run, it's kind of hard to compare it to any of the test runs I did, so I can't really tell for sure. Because normally I guesstimate my time based off of comparing it to my other test run and estimating how long my mistakes were. But they're... It's kind of hard to feel that one out. One, two, one, two. The, the funny thing is, if it does end up being a minute 45 like I guesstimated, it's exactly the same as in my LL, BFLLG. I had two minutes left in my mostly blindfolded test run. Getting out of here, navigating out of here is pretty easy, actually. I'd be very sad if I messed that up. There, all the NPCs are out of the way in the world of Ruin into Zen. It's very nice. Alright, I still want to do one more... mini-segment portion to this, because I want to keep it going with my BFLLG-ish, uh, although it's kind of be, going to be backwards, but... And I want to get some stuff from Tizen in here, so see you in a couple seconds. Alright, so now the main portion of this segment is over, so that's a relief. 
Last time segment in the game, out of the way. Time for a celebration by uh, walking through town and buying some items, I guess. Hello, weapon sh item shop guy. Buy dried meats. Can't go without the meat. Meat is a lifesaver in this game. I gotta say, two down to the remedies. I don't need quite as many of those. I mean, it took me the entire game to run out of what I had before, and that wasn't even maxed out IRC. <laughs> so, run out of the item shop. All the NPCs are pretty much all out of the way by now, so it's just... This town ends up being straightforward in the world of Ruin, despite generally being a pain in the butt in the world of balance. I mean, I still feel like my fails there were pretty derpy, but... They still wouldn't... I still would've had less fails if, uh... If, if the town was a little bit simpler. All the way down, take one step right, out the weapon shop, right, up, into the armor shop, to right, hello, bye, one of those, and one of those, and we're out of here. All the way down, to left, and out of the armor shop. Right, there's no stupid kid on the railing now, playing outside when his parents tell him not to. No need to worry about that now. Down. And now we can go right and down and just get out of here. So the power gear seems kind of useful to boost your vigor, considering Celeste is being all vigor Celeste in this run, and to boot, especially in the next little while, she's just going to be wrecking stuff with her vigor. So... Power armor seems like a wise choice. I may unequip it at some points for better defensive capabilities or something, but for now it's almost top of the line stuff, so. Alright, uh, in? Anything gonna happen? There we go. Gaia Gear is almost pretty much an all around boost for Sabin. I mean, unless if that two speed from the ninja gear is really gonna somehow outweigh all the benefits of the Gaia gear, which is not in any way going to happen. I don't care if you're playing NATB or not. Uh, out the door. Now I can go left and down the same way and just piggyback off my strap from earlier when I was using the in. I don't have any tents or sleeping bags, and I can't buy any here, so Celeste's magic is hopefully going to stretch a little bit. <laughs> That's all I can say about that. Easy town segment. Took like five minutes to repair that, three minutes to do, so... That segment, despite being split into three, actually isn't that long overall. See you next time.